what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Donald Trump, your president, boasted about the ratings of his daily news conference on the coronavirus. He said that the media is upset with him. They don't like him because he has high ratings. Not because he is spreading misinformation out there. This is what he had to say. Because the ratings of my news conferences, etc., are so high, bachelor finale, Monday night football type numbers, according to the New York Times, the lamestream media is going crazy. Trump is reaching too many people. We must stop him, said one lunatic. See you at 5 p.m. That one lunatic must have been him because this dude is one of the worst of the worst. How in the hell does a president care about ratings in the midst of a pandemic? Family, we are in trouble. I know some of you guys thought it would be fun to have him as a president because he was a reality star and he was entertaining. Huh. I wonder the people that was voting for him, some of them were like, huh, it would be nice to have a, an entertaining president, you know, somebody who can make us laugh and you know, who can keep us entertained. Somebody who can put out a bunch of little quotes. Oh man, we in trouble, family. I know I never imagined it, but maybe you have. Some Trump supporters are watching me right now. Please, family, tell me something he has done to enrich people's lives in general, Americans' lives. Don't give me none of these fake st statistics that he's come up with, his administration has been throwing out there. Don't give me nothing about what Obama started and he picked up on and tried to claim at his, as his own. Tell me something this dude has done to enrich the lives of Americans. What has he done to make Americans feel safer? America is more divided now than it has been in a long time. Donald Trump is a brand new strain of cancer. He needs to be studied. There needs to be a vaccine developed immediately because it's not just him. It's the people who look up to him. I can't believe I said people look up to him. Damn. Because I've always looked down, down on him. I, I've never thought of him as somebody I would look up to. I never looked at this dude one day and thought, hmm, that's a guy I admire. Not one time. The dude is just not somebody who a decent person would like to emulate. We're in the middle of a pandemic, family. People are dying. He is the leader of the country. The only numbers he should be worried about are the numbers of people who are dying and who are sick from this disease. The number of ventilators that we have available and that's on the way. The number of supplies, medical supplies, that we have and that's on the way. That's all he should be worried about. The number of people that has been cured or the number of people who has been moved to the safe zone. Those are the only numbers he should care about right now. He should not be caring about viewership. This lets you know this dude 
It's unqualified. It's just, I mean, we've always known, but this is just one more thing that confirms it. The dude is unqualified. Not only is he unqualified to lead America, this dude is unqualified to leave a kindergarten scout group through the woods. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.